hello students welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now let's solve this problem which says that a line passes through the points 20 meter and 16 meter and minus 1 meter and minus 4 meter determine the perpendicular distance d from the line to the origin o of the system of coordinate system so let's say we have this x and y coordinate system the horizontal axis is the x and the units are in meters the vertical is the y direction that is in meter and we are given that a line passes through 20 meter and 16 meter so this is 20 meter and 16 meter this is point b and point a is minus 1 and minus 4 so this is minus 1 and this is minus 4 so this is point a so a line passes through a and b to b is 2016 and a is minus 1 and minus 4 so we are required to determine the perpendicular distance between the origin of the coordinate system and the line so this is the perpendicular distance between the line and the origin of the coordinate system we have to find this d or we have to find this oc length so we need to find oc which is equal to d so let me write that we are required to find this d length between the line and the origin of the coordinate system so for this let's assume that a force f is acting from a to b let's say that a force f is acting along this line a b let's say we have a force f which is acting from a to b so we can find this distance d if we find the moment of this force f about that point o so we can say that the moment of the force f about point o is equal to if we use the uh, definition of moment so we can always find the moment by multiplying the perpendicular distance which is known as the moment arm with the force so the perpendicular distance the moment arm of the force about that point o is that d so we can say that the multiplication of force with the perpendicular distance will give us the moment about point o similarly by using the definition of the moment uh, using the cross product method we can say that taking the cross product of the position vector oa with the force will give us the moment about point o so this is the scalar method to find the moment about point o and this is the vector method to find the moment about point o similarly we can say that if we take the cross product of the vector of the position vector from o to b with force f that will also give us the moment about point o so we can say that r o b cross f will also give us the moment about point o or we can we can take any position vector from this point o to any point on this line a b and taking the cross product with force f will give us the moment arm let's say that we have some point c here let's say we have some point c here and if we find the position vector between point o and c and if we take the cross product of this position vector oc with the force that will also give us the moment about this the moment of this force f about that point o so either we can find the moment about uh point o of that force f using the scalar product which is d cross f the moment arm the perpendicular distance multiplied by the force f or we can find it using the vector method so we will find the moment about the force f about uh, um, about point o using the vector method and this method so we will give we will get the distance which is required the perpendicular distance so if we compare these two equations uh, if we compare this equation so we can say that d the perpendicular distance is equal to r o a cross product with that force f this is the vector force f divided by the force magnitude this is the force magnitude right so we will get the perpendicular distance between the given line and the origin o of the coordinate system so first of all we have to find this roa 
so roe is we can say roe is the position vector from o to a so we can find this roa by traveling from o in the x and y direction or we need to travel from o in the x and y direction to reach that point o or we can say that um, how far is this point o from the origin in the x and how far is this point o in the from that point o in the y so this point a is one meters away from this point o in the negative x direction so we can say that one meter in the negative i direction so we need to travel one meters in the negative x and four meters in the negative y so that is minus one i minus four j so this is the position vector from o to a we can say this is our position vector from o to a let me draw the position vector from o to a so when we draw a vector when we draw an arrow from o to a that is the position vector from o to a and similarly we can write the force vector so force vector we can say force vector will be equal to force magnitude times the unit vector from a to b since the force is directed from a to b so lambda a b is the unit vector now the force since we have assumed that a force f is acting from a to b so the force magnitude is uh, f capital f so we can say that the magnitude is capital f and the unit vector from a to b will be the position vector from a to b divided by its magnitude so now the position vector from a to b we have to find the position vector from a to b so in order to find the position vector we need to travel from a in the direction of x and y to reach that point b so we can say that this is force f and in the x direction from a we need to travel how much distance we need to travel 21 meters since this is 20 and this is minus 1 so this 1 plus 20 is actually 20 meters so from uh, 21 meters so so in the x we need to travel 21 meters since this point a is at minus ones minus one so the total distance between the point a and b in the x is 21 meters right this this one plus 20 so actually the point a and b in the horizontal direction are 21 meters apart so we need to travel 21 meters in the positive x direction in order to reach that point b from a we need to travel 21 meters in the positive x direction so we need to write 21 or we need to write plus 21 21 meter in the plus i direction since x is the i direction and in once we reach here then we need to travel how much distance in the vertical direction we need to travel 16 plus this 4 we need to travel 20 we need to travel 20 meters in the y direction so we will write then in the positive y direction so we will write plus 20 j so this is the position vector from a to b 21 i plus 20 j and the magnitude of that position vector will be 21 square plus 20 square under the square root so this is the magnitude of the position vector from a to b so we can use the pythagoras theorem so this is 21 and this is 20 so this will be uh, this is 21 and this is 20 so this the hypotenuse will be 21 square plus 20 squared using the pythagoras theorem so that will give us the magnitude So now we can say we can find the magnitude of the position vector from a to b which is 21 square plus 20 square this gives us 29 this is equal to 29 so we can say that force vector is equal to this force multiplied by this so we can say this force magnitude multiplied by 21 divided by 29 i plus 20 divided by 29 j 
or we can say this is equal to 21 divided by 29 f i plus 20 divided by 29 f j so this is the cartesian vector representation of that force f which is acting from a to b now finding the cross product so cross product is we can say r o a cross product with force f so this is equal to we can say r o a is minus 1 i minus 4 j cross product with force f which is 21 divided by 29 f i plus 20 divided by 29 f into j now for cross product we we, we we must always write draw this diagram and which says that i j and k so i cross j is always plus k and k cross i is plus j and in the opposite direction they are minus so now if i multiply this with this so i cross i is zero and this multiplied by this will be we can say minus one into 20 divided by 29 is minus 20 divided by 29 f and i cross j is plus k so you write that this is plus k similarly this multiply by this will be minus 4 into this we can write minus 4 into 21 divided by 29 f and j cross i so j cross i is minus k so in the opposite direction j cross i is minus k so you write that this is minus k and similarly if i multiply this term with this term so it is j cross j is always zero so we get this right so this is and this minus into minus will become plus so we can write that this is minus 20 divided by 29 f k minus 4 into 21 divided by 29 f and this is this will become plus k and remember that since since this is the scalar product so we need to write this as the magnitude right so this will be the magnitude always so we can say that this is equal to magnitude this is equal to magnitude since the scalar product doesn't give us the direction so we need to write this as a uh, magnitude so this magnitude divided by the force magnitude so now this is equal to we can take force and k common so this will be minus 20 divided by 29 plus 4 into 21 divided by 29 force and k so this is we can say minus 20 divided by 29 plus 4 into 21 divided by 29 this gives us 64 divided by 29 so 64 divided by 29 f into k so now this is the magnitude right so the the moment produced by that force f about point o is uh, in the counterclockwise direction the plus k tells us that it, the moment is in the counterclockwise direction since the moment is like this so that's why we get the positive k here and the magnitude of that moment about that uh, point o due to that force f is 64 divided by 29 f so now using this equation we can say that the perpendicular distance between uh, point o and that line d is equal to now the magnitude is 64 divided by 29 f this is the magnitude right and this is the direction the unit vector <coughs> so 64 divided by 29 divided by the force magnitude which is f so this and this cancel out so this means that d is equal to 64 divided by 29 which is equal to 2.206 64 divided by 29 is 2.206 meters so the distance between the line which passes through these two points and the origin is 2.206 meters so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope
this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston